What's going on? I'm Cody and what? Name thing for reaction on today to be reacted game theory, Minecraft mods were created to save us by the game theorists. Now this sounds really interesting, and I'm really excited to see this. But so always link to the video in the description down below because they're new channel, smash that subscribe and leave a like on the video. Let's even get this video like 1,000 likes. And let's go and check out game theory, Minecraft mods were created to save us. The trial chambers fill an important gap in the Minecraft oh, timeline. That's right, these secret underground rooms are more than just a new challenge for veteran players. Oh, they so are a window into the lives of the civilization who came before. The mobs and weapons left behind revealed they weren't just hiding Attempting underground from a monster, they were preparing day. to fight <laughs> back, and they were doing so with the help of an unusual ally. Hello Internet, welcome to Game Theory, the Dude, show yes, that's always up for a challenge. Let's and go. Mojang definitely heard that call because <laughs> they've just released a new update and it is called the Tricky Trials. This update is designed to Let's seriously go. test your metal, so introducing a new structure called the Trial Chambers, filled with spawners that continue to spout enemies until the trial ends. It's hey. a nice new challenge for long-time players, especially since the last major challenge was the Warden. This actually looks really amazing. It almost looks like, like Minecraft Dungeons or something like that that is so and incredible now that's basically just become a plaything rather than a threat Jeez, i got a picture you're not <laughs> scary are you but of course that's not the only thing Same. this update offers these chambers are filled to the oh. brim with the stuff that we theorists love we bro that is so creepy oh my goodness also really interesting as we've well. got brand new mobs like the bogged and the breeze we've got new enchantments sherds and armor trims we've even got new offensive weapons like the wind charge and the mace which make a Dude, okay. devastating combo if mastered but that's the incredible. main reason this place stood out to me was because you can only find the trial chambers underground between levels uh, Y minus 20 and Y minus 40. Dang and with that, we have our second key word. You know, when we hear the words underground and structure, that can only mean one thing. Ancient builders. The original oh, race of builders go. who summoned the wither and fled underground to escape its wrath. One update at a time, we have been slowly getting more clarity on who these guys were and what their story is. But we've never really known much about what life was like right. for them after they fled underground until this update because it turns out redstone contraptions and mysterious portals weren't their only solution to the i feel like this is about to get really interesting as well like all the lore which i so love dude let's do the this problem nor were the ancient builders the only ones who decided to take matters into their own hands there was another group who formed an alliance with the ancient builders and the proof for Hold all up. of this was right under our noses the whole time so grab your trial keys theorists because Same. we are going to unlock Let's the go. secrets <laughs> hidden in the tricky tr oh verdict glitch interesting <laughs> most aren't able to catch me in fact oh my goodness impressive i noticed it dude i was like what is happening <laughs> before i find bro what Outside of the fact that the trial chambers are underground, just like the ancient Hold cities up. and the strongholds, there were a few other details. Bro, there was a that date on that too. I'm gonna have to go back and check that. These chambers. First of all, is the obvious sense of craftsmanship. It's built out of tough and copper blocks, and while those raw materials are common at this depth, these right. variations are not naturally occurring in the overworld. Someone exactly. had to chisel these blocks to look like that. Villagers and illagers aren't capable of that, as we see their villages and woodland mansions only use simple blocks. The only place we see these types of chiseled blocks in the overworld are in places like the desert temples and jungle pyramids which were also built by the ancient builders there's also the use of oh. redstone the trial chambers are full of redstone contraptions like dispensers and copper bulbs in the ancient cities we saw the ancient builders experimenting with different redstone circuits and they'd even set up redstone traps in the jungle pyramids so redstone contraptions are in their repertoire finally exactly. there's those all important pottery shirts i thought these things were so <laughs> uninteresting when they were first announced but man have they turned out to be crucial to the of this game previously Wait, we said how the pottery sherds were the ancient builders depicted that is so interesting how like pottery sherds are like the key to this that is really interesting like something i feel like is so simple but is yet so crucial to this which is really part uh, of their own history right, and they have been a big help in understanding different elements of this it's society so crucial. like the fact they were multiple tribes rather than one cohesive group and now the sherds are here again in the trial chambers meaning the ancient builders had to be here at some point but some point is a little vague and we can that do is, better than that that in is fact, very we vague we can find out exactly 
exactly when these trial chambers existed in the timeline. And it's all thanks to one thing, the loot chests. In the ah. past, we found chests in various structures built by the ancient builders and the specific loot you get helps to show the development of their civilization. Exactly. In the nether fortresses, you can find things like golden armor, golden weapons, and diamonds. But in the end cities, they've evolved into turn- Yo, like Loki flexing over here, dude, like all the golden diamonds, dude. Oh my god. Diamonds into armor and weapons, <laughs> even learning how to yes. enchant them. Over time, the ancient builders grew and developed their technology. So depending on the kind of all loot the we technology. get from these trial chambers, we should be able to figure out where in the timeline it fits. The key items that stood out to me were the diamond chest plate and the enchanted books. Why? Because it falls right in the middle of the two points I've mentioned. The nether fortresses That's and really the end interesting. cities. In the end, we basically have every kind of diamond armor or weapon. But here, we only have one piece of armor, the chest plate. They hadn't developed the full suit of diamond armor while using these chambers. And that means these chambers were in existence before the ancient builders fled to the end. Which makes a lot of sense. It'd be Also, like, the amount of lore in this is so incredible, dude. Like, oh my goodness, being able to put all this together with, like, these key details is so fantastic. Weird they came after because they're meant to be stuck in the end. Regardless, it also shows us that it comes after they first went to the nether. As diamond armor hadn't been created at that point, they were still using golden armor. Plus, none it's... of the armor in the nether is enchanted. Bruh, so the go. presence of an enchanted book in the trial chambers means they've begun experimenting with enchanting right. their tools. That enchanted book also ties it to another specific underground structure. The ancient cities whose loot chests once again offer enchanted books and a single diamond armor piece. These two places offer similar loot, showing the same level of societal development, yeah, so meaning the, same. the ancient cities in the same and the trial line? chambers existed around the same time. So we know when the trial chambers existed. The question now is, where? why do they exist? What did the ancient builders need them for? And this is where we get to talk about the new big bad mob of these chambers, the Breeze. <laughs> Though calling the them breeze. the new big bad <laughs> might be a stretch. They're more of a nuisance than anything. They don't actually do much damage, only half a heart if they hit you directly. Instead, they use their wind charged yep, projectiles just... to throw you around the room, causing oh you to die goodness. due to full damage yes. rather than actual damage. It's quite annoying, but it does make for an interesting challenge. And that got me thinking. At this point in the story, the ancient builders had been forced underground by the monster they'd created, the Wither. Their scientists were trying to figure out a way to escape using redstone, souls, and portals. But what would they do if the Wither attacked before then? That's they actually would need good point. some form of defense to fend off the threat in right. order to buy them more time and evacuate the city. Now, the Breeze isn't gonna help with that. They're hostile to the player. Also, the name, the Breeze, like, that's such a great enemy name. Like, oh my goodness, that is like the Breeze, dude. It sounds so cool. And, as I've said, it can barely do any damage to the player, let alone the Wither. But that's yeah. not what I think the Breeze was for. Do you remember when the Ancient Cities released? We got that special lore music disc, Disc 5. Well, on it, disc we five. hear this. <laughs> sound of an army marching into battle. Oh. That was the defense the ancient builders had in mind. However, you don't just so gain an much army lore. overnight. You have to <laughs> train people. And to do that, you would need to put them through a bunch of exercises right. or trials. This is where the breeze comes in. It wasn't there to fight off the wither. It was brought in to train potential soldiers to fight the wither. Just like the wither, the breeze shoots projectiles at them, sending them flying. You can't shoot the breeze with arrows either. Just like how the wither's second phase is immune to all projectiles. The Breeze was the perfect Hold practice up. dummy for their fight against the Wither. And they could practice all of this without actually taking too much physical damage or dying. This is why they built the Trial Chambers. Potential soldiers could go in again and again, learning and improving each exactly. time in order that they could protect their underground cities from the Wither. And it was all thanks to the Breeze having a very similar- It's almost like the game Hades, where every time you, like, don't make it, it's like you're learning stuff, and it's just like you keep progressing, keep getting better. I feel like that's the- the same type fighting of thing. style with none of the destruction. Though, this wasn't just luck on their part. It would be too much of a coincidence for them to just find a mob that happens to do little to no damage and happens to have similar abilities to their number one enemy. No, the breeze wasn't just found like this. It was designed to be this way by the ancient builders. See, the breeze oh doesn't actually spawn that naturally so in Minecraft. It only comes from the spawners found in the trial chambers. And in Minecraft Legends, we play as the ancient builders who are shown to be able to 
make spawners. The Minecraft builders understood how spawners worked and how to use them to create life. They could just make a mob to help them in this situation, except everything they made in the game wasn't new. They were golems or mobs that had existed prior thanks to the godlike beings right. who looked over the land. Sure, the ancient builders can make spawners, but that doesn't mean they could just make a new mob using them, right? Wrong. Because we have Wrong. an example of them doing exactly that. And it's with a mob that bears a striking resemblance to the breeze. While the breeze appears to have a complex design, when you break it down, it's actually quite simple. It's an elemental mob made of rods with a cube head and it can shoot projectiles. That is identical to what we see from a mob we find in the nether, the blaze. An elemental mob made of rods with a cube head and it can shoot projectiles. We Wait, so now we have the breeze and the blaze. Blaze, dude. These names are so incredible. Actually had requests to do an episode on these guys, but we never really saw the point because their lore also is basically the design spelled out for us in the incredible. Minecraft mob bestiary. But for this video, it does give us some interesting insight. Quote, the blaze does not spontaneously exist in the nether. Rather, it is conjured into existence by a spawner. Oh. Just like the breeze, blaze also don't spawn naturally. They can only be summoned by a spawner. And those spawners only exist inside nether fortresses. Structure we believe to have also been created by the ancient builders long ago. The ancient builders are well versed in creating these new mobs for whatever they need at that point in time. In the nether, it was likely a way to farm blaze rods for the potions we see them experimenting with on the pottery shirts. Now, they're just doing the same thing again, creating a new elemental mob that is designed to test their toughest soldiers and prepare them for battle. There's just, <laughs> just one black sized it. hole in my perfect theory build. While this same. proves the ancient builders' ability to not only create spawners, but new mobs from those spawners, you can't just make something out of nothing. To make spawners exactly. in Minecraft Legends, you need two things. Lapis lap. I actually haven't played Minecraft Legends. Let me know in the comments. Is it like any good, dude? I feel like it looks fantastic, but oh my goodness. I, Easily, the magical stones that I have to play the so many the games. And of the I am so of life behind. In this world <laughs> and the material the specific I'm like really behind. conjuring is made from. Wood for plank golems, stone for cobblestone golems. You get the picture. Now, I suspect the blaze would be easy easy to make in this way, as we can see from legends that the piglins have access to blaze rods. They are a resource that exists in the nether what? even before the blaze come into existence. So oh, just mix man. some lapis and some blaze rods and boom, you've got yourself boom. a blaze spawn. <laughs> the trouble is, you need to do something similar in order to create the breeze. There is a new item called the breeze rod, but it is only obtainable by defeating the breeze, which only exists in the spawners that need the breeze rods to be made. But without breeze, how do you get the breeze rods to make the breeze so that you can get the breeze rods? to make the this is getting so like intense dude like there's so many things that need to happen do it like in a in a, like a specific order do what free so that you can get the breeze rods <gasps> <sighs> exactly. This is quickly becoming my chicken or egg debate, and despite <laughs> enjoying the odd philosophical discussion, this was starting to hurt my brain. So Same. I decided to put it down and take another look at some of the areas I'd already explored to see whether anything could give me some clarity. And when I did, I noticed something odd. I was taking a look back through the loot chests, and while I'd earlier made note of the armor and enchanted books, I'd not paid attention to the weapons you're given. Despite this oh. being a chamber meant for <laughs> the key battle, blade the only weapons from you Kingdom get Hearts. are axes, bows, and crossbows. <laughs> Be, Not only that'd be is a, a great crossbow crossover, going to be pretty like. useless against the breeze, but we've never had crossbows appear as loot in the chests left by the ancient builders before. This game is pretty consistent with the type of loot you get. Usually the ancient builder chests include pickaxes, shovels, swords, all things they used for mining, building, and fighting. But not once do these chests contain crossbows. So why would these weapons suddenly be in the ancient builder item chests? Exactly. Simple. Because the ancient builders weren't the only ones making the trial chest. Chambers. They had help. If you're wanting to kick your trial up a notch, you can turn the next trial. Bruh, this just got like extra interesting, dude. Like adding another layer on top of that. Oh my goodness, dude. Like the amount of lore is insane. Into an ominous trial, which spawn harder mobs with more armor and offer better rewards, like higher level enchantment or diamond blocks. But what's interesting right. is the way that these harder trials are triggered. It happens by drinking an ominous bottle, which is a new is item like you receive by elixir? the trial chambers. But it can also be dropped when you kill an illager captain. Before this update, <laughs> killing an illager captain would immediately curse you. But now, oh. instead of cursing you, the illager will just drop 
an ominous bottle that will allow you to become cursed once you've consumed it. With this curse, you can trigger raids, or you can trigger an ominous trial. If the illagers carry these potions, which give you the same curse that historically was given to you naturally by uh, them, then it would stand to reason that these dang. potions have been made by the illagers, meaning the ancient builders were using illager magic in the trial chambers. And no, this wasn't just the Dude, ancient builders killing the illagers and stealing their stuff. Not only did the illagers continue to idolize them after they're gone, which I'm not sure they do if the builders had killed a bunch of them. But <laughs> right. if you take a look at the ancient cities, you'll find one structure that isn't like the others. One that is made one of, of these dark things is not like instead the other. of deep slates. One that looks suspiciously like a pillager outpost. The illagers didn't just help- This is getting like extra dark as well. Like, dang, I was not expecting this. This is- them build the chambers. The amount of interesting knowledge. Alongside them, working and learning and lore together. Trying desperately to figure out how to solve the problem of the wither. We've known for a while that the illagers have been following and worshipping the works of the ancient builders. They learned how to fight from them in Minecraft Legends, and since then, they would try and do as they did, recreating their maps, to play this. beds, it looks fantastic, and though. from wool. But throughout all of this, we've always pictured them as watching from a distance, hearing the stories, but never really being it's involved like what if. until now. Marvel's the Wither was a threat if. to all of the them. Watcher. No one in the overworld was safe. And so, just like with the original Piglin invasion, the illagers wanted to help. They were able to use their magic to create these ominous bombs bottles and because they understood this magic were able to help the ancient builders yeah, utilize strange it. effects to increase the difficulty of the trial chambers. That's why you receive crossbows and axes as rewards from these trials. Those are the illagers iconic weapons. In fact crossbows can only be found in overworld loot chests at pillager outposts. They are helping Dang. to reward and equip any ancient builder that completes the trials, mixing in their prized possessions and strongest weapons in with the ancient builders. Sure, they might not have fully grasped all the technology that was going so on. So they're Loki there to help out. Like, that is amazing, dude. They're coming in clutch over here. They were still making portals out of wool, but they didn't need to. They were there to provide magical support and to provide the <laughs> magical necessary items support. to create the trial chamber's primary that's, mob. That's, that's pretty right, clutch. The illagers are awesome also the final piece to our breeze puzzle. In 2020, there was a DLC for Minecraft Yes, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Pass. In it, you must head to the top of a large mountain and one the of the places you encounter is called Gale's Sanctum, which if you look is very reminiscent of the trial chambers. Oxidized copper floors, symbols that match those of the chisel. I love how this game is just like Minecraft meets like Diablo and like, ah, uh, they like merge together. Ah, it's so fantastic, dude. Oh, I love that game. That game is like the best. Tough blocks and puzzles all focused around the element of wind. Sounds familiar, right? But the real kicker is that when you travel through the mountain, you encounter a new kind of enemy, an illager called a wind cooler. These guys oh, have one very specific up. power. They could create bursts of wind that push you away. Did they Just make the like breeze? the breeze does with its wind charges. Yep. Wind charges that require a specific item to create. Breeze rods. This is where the ancient builders got their first breeze rods Hold to create up. the breeze spawner. They got them from the illagers who had control over the wind. I and got, got them to assist in the creation of not, not only this they're talking mob, about breezes. But the entire <laughs> trial chambers, building it out of the same blocks this and using the same amazing. types of traps in order to create something that would put all ancient soldiers through their paces. And to celebrate <laughs> this collaboration, the ancient builders created one more pottery shirt inside these trial chambers. You might look at the scrape pottery shirt and think it's the new weapon, the mace. I mean, the other two were of the breeze, so it makes sense exactly. for it to be the new thing, right? Except right. look again, it doesn't have the right shape. No, this is the it's image like of a an hatchet. Axe, a yeah. symbol of the Vindicator, yes. of Illagers, the people that helped the ancient builders to take down their greatest foe. And so there you have it, the lore behind Minecraft. This lore was so insane. Oh my goodness, the amount of lore. I feel like I learned so much that I didn't even know, which is so incredible. Like that's the best thing Trial about the game theory. Built as a training ground for the ancient Every builders. Every time I watch a game theory video, to take I'm always learning new it stuff. It was only possible thanks to their old friends, the Illagers. They would train in the chambers alongside the ancient builders, living amongst them, ready to fight when necessary. Ready. They helped make the trials harder and gave them the necessary tools to create a mob that would mimic the wither while avoiding unnecessary bloodshed. But that's not where the Illagers help ended. They set up outposts on the surface to keep watch. They had their goat horns at the ready, which could be heard from miles around, ready to alert everyone clutch. down in the caves if the wither 
Wither was close by. But despite all the peace and harmony between these groups, we know how it ended. The yeah. Wither would breach the ancient city. Clearly, all their training wasn't enough. It, As a yeah. last ditch effort, they summoned the Warden who defeated the Wither, but would also go on to kill many of those who lived in the ancient cities, Builder and Illager alike. Eventually, the ancient builders went deeper into the caves, hiding in the strongholds, abandoning what was left of the ancient cities. I mean, I guess that's like a last chambers. resort. And finally, they ran away to the end. However, word never made it to the Illagers on the surface. They patiently waited to hear from them like they always had, until eventually, but where the ancient they builders back. they'd been left behind. So they tried to bring them back. They gathered a lay like the ancient builders used to have during the days of legend. They created more dangerous mobs. They built their own portals, all in the hope that the builders would return, but they never did. That oh. is why the Illagers now attack the player today, because you are a reminder of what they lost. Not an all knowing. Oh, dang. That's really like you're a reminder. Like, were the players a reminder of what they lost? Dang. <laughs> that is deep. In God, with the mastery of building, <laughs> I didn't friend, even think about it like out that. At you is just an easier way to come to terms with the truth. Not only were they never coming Aww. back, but they left them behind to like die. Mahog. But hey, that's just a theory. A, a game, game theory. theory. Thanks for watching. Oh, and my if you're goodness. looking for some more Minecraft lore, why not check out our episode on one of Minecraft's weirdest mobs, the Sniffer. Happy building. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so interesting. So amazing. The amount of lore is always fantastic. The editing on point. I'm going to have to check this out because this looks so amazing. This Minecraft update looks really incredible. It's almost like a roguelike in a way. It almost has a Doom vibe, which I think is really interesting. Mixed with a little bit of Diablo. Like that seems to me what the update looks like. So if it's anything like that, I think it's going to be fantastic and amazing. But from beginning to end, I just so love this. The editing animations i just so love that and that's like so fantastic what do you guys want game theory minecraft moms were created to save us let me know in the comment section now but also click that bell turn notifications this is always guys thanks so much for watching i really do appreciate it. if you guys enjoyed the video as always guys i'll catch you in the next reaction video